this is your first time here on my channel i talk about things like veganism self-care and overall holistic wellness so if that's something that you're interested in make sure you subscribe that way you stay updated on all my videos so this video is about being vegan and pregnant i put a poll on my instagram and it was like the budgeting video versus vegan and pregnant video and this one got the most votes i'm doing both anyway though so um i don't really know what to <laughs> include in this video because honestly ve being vegan has not in affected my pregnancy at all like it hasn't affected how i feel or anything but um i guess i'm sure one thing one misconception that may be out there someone told me that like eating a lot of greens and vegetables and stuff is supposed to prevent stretch marks so that's a myth that's not true um because i eat a lot of greens and i only eat vegetables and like fruit and stuff but yeah uh to my knowledge if you're gonna get stretch marks like you're just gonna get them there's really nothing you can do use certain products to help it when it is stretching out to that way increase the elasticity and help it to snap back after your pregnancy but diet is really not going to prevent stretch marks so that's one thing two i'm sure people wonder like if i crave meat so which i don't and the reason for that i've been vegan for two years it'll be three years in december um so i already before i got pregnant i was already like not craving meat like i was used to not eating meat which I never crave meat, but whatever. Anyway, um, so yeah, I use, sometimes I eat meat substitutes like uh, the Garden brand, Garden chicken, or like a Beyond Meat burger, if y'all know what that is. So it's like meat-like stuff, and it's pretty close to the real thing, so I have no desire for the real thing. And I only eat that stuff sometimes because it's convenient. On top of that, like in relation to cravings, I don't have any cravings. I haven't had any cravings my entire pregnancy. And the reason for that, I'm pretty sure I don't have cravings and it's because I'm vegan. And not only because I'm vegan, but because I have a like a plant-based diet. So you know, the difference between vegan and plant-based is plant-based is like incorporating whole foods, healthy foods into your diet whereas vegan could be like Oreos are vegan. So you could just eat Oreos all day and be vegan, right? But not necessarily healthy. So cravings are associated with nutrients that your body is lacking. So that's why, for example, some people will crave ice cream. Now, the, or some people crave like dirt or something weird like that. Um, the weird combinations, I don't know how to explain that. Like peanut butter and pickles, I don't know. But definitely cravings are associated. But with. yeah, some people will crave like ice cream. And this is like vegan or not. If you're deficient in a nutrient like calcium, then ice cream is like... Is dairy and dairy is high in calcium so some people will crave ice cream or I suppose like if you are deficient in protein then maybe you crave like peanut butter because I know some people crave peanut butter in their pregnancy so yeah so if you're getting all the nutrients that you need from your diet then you don't have to worry about craving anything whether you're vegan or not like you don't have to worry about craving the weird stuff so yeah no cravings being vegan definitely not craving meat not craving dairy nothing like that because there are substitutes there's ice cream like non-dairy ice cream there's meat substitutes like all that stuff um so yeah what else? it is a little more challenging because unless you want to like spend a whole lot of money on a vegan or plant-based diet then you have to cook so that's one thing that's kind of inconvenient like i always have to get up and cook my food if i want to eat and i have to eat because i'm pregnant so that's one thing it's kind of hard because sometimes you don't feel like getting up especially this late into the pregnancy um i'm 34 weeks tomorrow so like all my energy is being sucked away by the baby that's one con i guess is a con of being vegan while pregnant but it's really not that big of a deal uh weight gain i think my weight gain like regardless if you're vegan or not you have to increase your calories i gained about like 25 30 pounds 
so far and like I'm pretty sure that that's normal or average and I don't think it has anything to do with my diet being plant-based or vegan um yeah I think that's like the main things that people think of when it comes to pregnancy you want to know how to prevent stretch marks you want to know how to prevent cravings or like what kind of cravings I have my energy is pretty good well it was <laughs> my energy was pretty was great starting out first and second trimesters were great and up until like two weeks ago my energy has been like optimal but now it's getting later into the pregnancy so obviously like I'm gaining weight it's getting harder to do things my belly is like in my throat it feels like so yeah the energy thing is kind of expected that it's going to deplete <laughs> by this time in the pregnancy but again i don't really think that has anything to do with being vegan so with that said it is completely doable to be vegan while pregnant or be pregnant while vegan it's completely doable to do both so if y'all want to go vegan like you can still do it while you're pregnant it's all in your head the meat cravings it's all in your head i mean well no it's not all in your head because if you're protein deficient you're probably gonna crave meat so make sure you're getting all your nutrients that you need whether you are pregnant or not make sure you're taking care of your body and taking care of yourself but if you want to be vegan while you're pregnant or if you want to get get pregnant even though you're vegan like completely possible it's not torture so you got that and that's how my pregnancy is going while being vegan if y'all want a video on my birth plan i'll do that i'm probably gonna do that even if you don't ask for it because i want to i'm doing a water birth i plan on doing no like doing it completely natural like completely natural like in my living room <laughs> so if y'all want a video on that and a video on how that goes in like six weeks then i'm gonna do that whether you want it or not probably so thank y'all for watching this video if you have any questions then put them in the comment section uh, like this video if you enjoyed it subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and share the video so i could get some more views on it my social media in the description box per usual and make sure y'all add me on twitter which i'm on a lot and instagram which i'm on a lot and make video requests so thank y'all for watching again hope you enjoyed it like comment share and subscribe and have a great day Cause now you're here and I just wanna be right by your side On any night that you'll be